Thought I'd do a, another quick, uh, if I can do a quick video, suburban homesteading um, update video number two for the year. First thing I want to talk about is um, inflation. It is real, and we are starting to see, we're starting to see it. Uh, yesterday, I went to Costco, and I loaded up a cart, which I think a year or two ago would have been three or $400 worth of product. Um, it was $723. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see, um, shrinkflation as well. Um, like a box of Honey Nut Cheerios instead of the normal size, it was sh a little fatter, but shorter. And, um, like those, uh, Kirkland pork loins, you know, how they would come in a package of four, you know, like, like this, a pack of four for about $16 or so. Um, now they're, they're coming out with the long ones in a pack of two. So you're getting maybe three quarters amount of meat that you would have, maybe even less than that, for the same amount of money. Um, inflation in our area, I think the nat national inflation rate is like 8.4% right now. Our area, we're closer to 10.4% according to the local news. So, uh, yeah, it's real, uh, inflation and shrinkflation, it's real, and we're starting to see it. So I'll give you a quick update on everything else. The big score at Costco yesterday is 75 pounds of all-purpose flour. Um, it really wasn't expensive by itself, but... In one fell swoop, I doubled our flour and sugar stores. So for making bread and that kind of thing later on, I think we'll be set. So make your thumbs up on that. Since I'm on the subject of flour, our chickens have really been coming into our own. Um, they've been laying anywhere between three to five eggs a day, on the average four, but usually on a low end three, on a high end five eggs a day. And we're having major omelets every weekend. Um, I think the price of eggs has doubled um, from a year, year or two ago. So our chickens are really starting to come into their own right now. So major thumbs up on that. Our starts are going well. Um, we're chitting some potatoes right here. And um, I'm not sure. Oh, these are like some chilies and some bell peppers. These are the starts. They have been going and they're doing well. Um, though we're worried about them getting a little too spindly. But the grow, the grow lights that <clears throat> we got are doing well. So, uh, so far, so good on the starts. Okay, so we've obviously had a cold front move in here. Um, what we planted so far is frost hardy, but we decided to put a frost um, cover on it anyway. This cold front should be leaving, I think, Thursday or Friday, I don't know. We've already planted peas in here, nothing sprouted up yet, so that's good. That's just for them to grow on. On up here, we have um, onions. Hopefully they're doing well. Yeah, they seem to be doing okay. They're getting a little mashed by the cover, they, and we had a little bit of snow, but they seem to be bouncing back okay. And over there, we've got carrots planted that are just starting to come through. Uh, right there. We still have to uh, 
thin them out. But we planted carrots and they are sprouting. Under there we planted um, lettuce. And they are barely starting to come up. <clears throat> Which is why we got that. All of those, all four of these, that, that, and those two should be frost hardy. Um, we did string some fence posts and some wire and we trimmed back our grapes. So we're hoping that these things take off over the summer. Um, eventually, I don't know how long it's going to take, a year or two or three, but eventually this whole back wall is going to be grapes. So this is a work in progress and this is just starting. So hopefully we have a little mini vineyard going on here. May make some homemade wine, homemade wine or something, who knows. And here's our raspberries, we've trimmed them back. Um, these are temporary. I think after this year or next year, we're gonna pull all these out because we didn't realize it, but there's a type of raspberry that doesn't have all these dang thorns. So we planted the bad raspberries. These girls have taken the digging, but they seem to be doing well. I don't think they've laid yet. No. Ooh, I got one. All right, well, I'll, I'll pick it up later. Oh yeah, cilantro. Um, this cilantro is not doing well. We might be overwatering it. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. These are green onions, I think. And we moved this thing has started, started taking up, but we moved it in uh, because of the frost. I should probably water that actually. Oh, chives. All right. I don't. I don't know which one this one is. Herb. So, um, planting day will be around Mother's Day. Um, we're gonna just get a bunch of, we're, we're, we're growing some starts, but we're probably gonna try to get some at our local nursery as well. And we'll plant the rest of the boxes um, at that time. Not much else to say. Next time I do this, hopefully we'll have more green in the, green going on to uh, um, have our own little, I don't know, jungle in our backyard, whatever. Anyway, that's it for this video. Have a good one.